Do you want your youth program just to have kids in the gym, which is a great goal to have? Do you want your youth, youth program to build skill, another great goal? Um, do you want it to do both? Do you just want it to say you have it, but you're not interested really in being a part of it? So let somebody from the outside do it. You got to really look at yourself, your situation, and what you want to get out of it. For me, our youth program uh, runs first, uh, second, and third graders all do, excuse me, our first and kindergarten first and second graders uh, do a Saturday morning kind of skills um, one hour session. And my JV coach happens to run it. He does a good job with it, but it's all about having fun, getting kids in the gym, touching the ball, learning about the game, what's traveling, you know, what's double dribble, that kind of stuff. Third, fourth, and fifth graders are in our three on three league. It's a developmental league, all about skill building. That is the goal of it. Um, we don't keep scoring it. We play it three on three, so we don't do five on five. Uh, all the players play equal number of minutes. I don't know which one of those kids is going to sprout up and be a stud, which one of those kids is going to decide not to play. I want to build everybody, and I want to build their skills. So that's what we focus on is skill development in that league. Our varsity players are a part of it. They run the skill session on Saturday morning, so the first 20 minutes is a skill session. And then we kind of let them go meet with their coaches. We come back out, so roughly 35 minutes of playing time, uh, but we run four eight-minute quarters, and our varsity kids then referee that. Uh, they do have practices during the week, two practices in the beginning of the year, and then once the games start, we do one practice plus the one game with the skill development session in the beginning. So that's how we do it, but my goal, if the kids are having fun, if they're, they're building their skills, they're going to want to come back and continue to do it later. Uh, the other thing is our youth camps. We have youth camps each summer. Um, I also, well, we'll go with youth camps first here. Uh, youth camps each summer, we run that starting in the uh, first grade. So that's first, second, third, and fourth graders do skills camp. Um, it's an hour and a half, four days uh, for the week. It's a four-day week for camp. And then our fifth through eighth graders run, they have a camp which are coached by our high school kids. I oversee it as kind of the director, but we have stations that are set up and we have a whole daily schedule that they go through. That stuff can be found inside the, the coaching lab uh, under camp templates, I believe it is. Uh, so if you're looking at any of the camp stuff, uh, same with the youth league. If you go into the youth coaches library, you'll find all the three on three stuff for that as well. So um, those are the two biggest things in building our youth um, our youth program and kind of a feeder system going into our middle school and then the middle school feeds into the high school. Uh, so those would be the biggest things. The other thing that I'll add to that is as a, as a varsity coach, or if you're a high school coach at all, those kids look up to you, be present, um, offer your services. If a team wants you to come in to help them run an offense, to run, learn the defense if the varsity plays, you know, if they're in a five on five league or an AAU team, that's just within your community. I think that that, uh, it can be real powerful in getting the kids excited. I know I get asked usually once every spring to come in and to teach a certain aspect of our how the varsity plays to an elementary or a middle school travel team. And it's made of all kids from our community, so they're all going to grow up in our program. So I do that, but I also try to invite one of my varsity players to go down there and talk to them. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I try to, to make sure that I'm there, I'm present, I help that coach out with what he needs, but I also invite a varsity player as well. I think that can be really beneficial to building your program.